Welcome back. Welcome back to the Thursday edition of Full Circle, where you're watching us from this morning. Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. Just in case you missed out on our quote of the day, well, here it is for you one more time. So it says, it's your reaction to adversity and not adversity itself that determines how your life story will, de will develop. It's your reaction to adversity, not adversity itself, that determines how your life's story will develop. So it's all dependent on how you react to the things that life throws at you. Good, bad, ugly, disappointing. How do you react to them? It's in the reaction to these things that determines how our story develops, where we go with our dreams. Did we give up because something happened? Did, did we just sit back and be like, oh... You know, it's okay. I don't have to struggle. I'm here for the soft life. Mm -mm. Your reaction. Like I said earlier, that's definitely um, what you should be concentrating about. I told you earlier that if you think it's very expensive to take care of your skin, well, we're here to tell you that you can take care of your skin, that you can get that glow on a budget. Please run the bumper. And to give us these tips, because we all need them. We all need them. It's Shiko. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Mukari. And talking to us about glowing skin and looking good, yours is glowing. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, it looks so good. When we talk, oh, is this something that you do? Maybe you can tell us what it is that you do, Shiko, before we get into it. Okay. So I do makeup. I mm -hmm. am a makeup artist okay. as well as a makeup trainer. I train people how to do their makeup, how to take care of their skin. Okay. Yeah, and I am a skincare enthusiast. We can see that. Those <laughs> eyebrows so are on fleek. Thank you so much. So when we talk about skincare, Tunambua, you, you need to have a routine. Yes. Oh, cleanse, moisturize, scrub, do these things. But then most of the times, these people will give us products that are uh, probably hard for you to pronounce, probably you've never seen, and they yes. look very expensive. So most people will think, ah, it must be expensive to just, you know, yeah. get the glow on. Yeah. But today you're telling us it's actually possible. It's possible to achieve a good skincare routine uh -huh. at a budget. Aye. Yes. Huh. We are here to please <laughs> school us, teach us your ways. Yeah, so I know most of the skincare products are quite expensive uh -huh. um, and I think that's what makes people not to be so open to mm. invest in skincare but even in your kitchen there are so many things that you can there are so many ingredients in your kitchen that you can use for your skin ah. yeah for example you okay. have honey yes I do have I'm looking at my pantry <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I you do have, have honey I do I if do you like spicy meals you have turmeric I actually do. It stains my hands, but yes. I like it. Um, do you have apple cider vinegar? I do. The Is one it? with the mother. The <laughs> sweet one. With the, with the mother. Yes, awesome. with the mother. Is awesome. that a good one or do I need Very to? good. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Very good. Cucumber. You have water, which is the basic. Yeah, I have Like water. Th there are so many ingredients in the kitchen that you can use for your skincare. And they're very affordable. Um, if we go into them, let's say honey. Honey yes. has antibacterial properties and it's very moisturizing. It also has something called humectants. Which humectants. Humectants, okay. yes. So they help the skin to be moist. Uh -huh. So Because it's the moist moisture in the skin that will give you that glow mm. that every person wants. So um, at what, how do I then apply it? Why routine e honey? Okay. And then I'm okay. doing my honey on so, top. Um, let's, let's go into like creating a, a, a skincare routine with okay. these products, products, let's say in the kitchen. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is cleanse your skin, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. Because even let's say you're not even wearing makeup, your skin is still dirty from the dust. Mm. You know, you sweat. Mm. So you first want to cleanse your skin. Okay. And uh, you may find some people actually cleanse their skin with the soap they use. Mtu maybe I may pack a shower gel and walk a kipanga. Kipanga is actually nice. Oh, okay, you see, cool. these soaps that has in uh, the, the scents and the many chemicals, mm -hmm. they are actually good. Jama, Izo. Izo yes, that. And then guy. nowadays we have black soap, which is yes. very affordable. Uh -huh. It's turmeric. These natural soaps are very good. So you can use that to cleanse. Mm -hmm. 
and then you can scrub your face so sugar for example is very good for scrubbing the face scrubbing is also exfoliating because over time with exposure to the sun the skin forms dead skin because mm -hmm. Um, and especially if you're not wearing a sunscreen, unapata the skin in enda iki, um, you're getting sun damage and you have um, the extra layers like of dead skin. Of yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, an affordable exfoliant is sugar. And sugar, mm -hmm. it has, since it's made from sugar cane, sugar cane has glycolic acid, which is a chemical exfoliant. Oh. Yes. So okay. if, you, if you use sugar, to scrub your face you can just mix sugar and a few drops of lemon juice which is also good for cleansing and detoxifying mm -hmm. and then you can add a bit of honey and you can use that to scrub your face and so it will remove the dead skin it's not okay it's not, when, it, it when also depends on how you'll do it ah, okay. you know just small circular motions okay. and also taking care not to cause so much friction and mm. you know yeah damage on the skin is that okay for any kind yes. type of skin it's 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 okay most of these natural skincare products work for all types of skin so even if you have like serious acne that is a bit painful no okay okay for people with acne i'm and just imagining the sugar yes, <laughs> yes. for people with acne it's yeah. advisable to use chemical exfoliants so we have two different ah. types of exfoliants ama okay. scrubs okay there is the physical ones the nyaniso scary kama ile exfoliating glove those mm -hmm. are like the fit the physical things and mm. then we have the chemical which chemical exfoliants are like acids mm. that once applied on the skin will um remove the dead skin okay Okay. So Without you see scrubbing. that is just applying. Yes. And then you will rinse it sort off. Sort of after like acid. enzymes of some sort. Yes. You just make yes. a layer lafu. After a while, you just wash it off. Exactly. Okay. So, uko kwengine kwa nyumba on a budget, uh, sukari, a few drops of lemon, yes. and a bit of honey, honey. and yes. just slowly in circular motion. Circular motion. And how long should I do this for? Um, Five minutes. Oh, five yeah. minutes is okay. Yeah, five cool. minutes is okay. Mm -hmm. And then, so we have said cleansing. Yes. We have gone to scrubbing. Yes. After that, you want to have a mask. Um, because face masks, mm -hmm. um, they, it's like something you leave on the face and it will help boost hydration and moisture on the face. Mm -hmm. So a good face mask, for example, the same drops of lemon juice, honey, and you can use turmeric now the turmeric powder okay so turmeric powder has brightening effects on the skin so for example if you have had black spots and hyperpigmentation um constant use of turmeric will fade the black spots really yes and i've you know i have a huge one over here yeah it's probably not being seen because of, of but i've seen it so many times on the show so if I use turmeric, well, it, it may come up for more than 10 years, <laughs> maybe 15, okay, well, maybe 20 or more. Yeah. Does it matter how deep it is into the skin to use turmeric to just make sure that it clears? Um, it can just work even for my 20 plus. It can work scar. with const. You just see a tiki to you'll do one day and then unangoza magic happen. You have to keep doing it. Okay. Yeah. So that was turmeric, a bit of honey. Yes. And, and like a drop of lemon juice. Drop of lemon yeah. juice. So this will help with the mask. Yes. And kawaida mask make a layer and then unaiwacha. Unaipaka mm -hmm. and then you leave it for like ten to fifteen minutes. Okay. And then you will rinse off. Just water. Yes. Nothing. Yeah, and over with the water top. you don't want to use hot mm. you know, gana or very hot water. No. Yes. And you also don't want to use very cold water. Okay. You want to use warm water for your mm. face. Yeah. Okay. So after the mask after you wash off the mask, mm -hmm. if you have a toner, mm -hmm. you can use a toner. Uh, what a toner does, it restores the skin pH uh, to a balanced we've, level. We've done all because these things. Because you've done all these things. Yes. yes. Um, and a simple toner, a clean, uh, uh, an affordable toner um, is rose water. Rose water? Yes. Oh. Rose water is very affordable. Okay. It's made of natural ingredients mm -hmm. and it is very moisturizing it's a good face mist you can use it as a setting spray for your makeup to ref or just as you know you can use yes. it to refresh your skin you can use it um after you've 
washed your face yeah it's very I good i think that's what we use at the makeup we have a rose water based yeah. kind of uh, setting, setting spray. spray that's what it's setting spray yes. yeah so that you can also use as a toner okay apple cider vinegar as well mm -hmm. with the mother with the mother <laughs> yes you can dilute it of course don't use it it's yeah because it's just dilute it with water and you can also like apply it on a cotton wool and dab on the skin it also tones the skin oh. yes and I've been living with these things in the house. Imagine. And now I'm you busy know. buying <laughs> things off the shelf. <laughs> well, they're also nice. They are also nice. But for but someone on a budget, yes. yeah, you can definitely use with what you have in the house. So apple cider vinegar is about is very concentrated. Yes. So what ratio would that be? Uh, ka apple, apple cider, cider vinegar. How much water does that need? You also need like one kakifuniko of water. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, yes. I was going to go for like a lot. But okay, okay, yeah. okay. That should be a good ratio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's our ton toner. Oh, that's our toner. So do we need to moisturize? Definitely. Okay. So with moisturizing, you know, there's this, I think most people think, especially if you have oily skin, mm -hmm. you don't need to add more oil yeah. because already I'm oily. Uh -huh. But what actually does, if you don't apply oil and you have oily skin, the mm -hmm. skin will overcompensate. So it's like it will sense there is no oil on this skin. So let's produce more oil. So you'll actually be more oily. Oh, so are you saying that me applying oil on my very oily face now tells my body, imagine to co-oiled up enough, to let's sour. not produce more. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now that's but if you don't, Takwa, like, bring it on. Your mafuta you up, you see? Yeah. So no matter the skin type, mm -hmm. you definitely want to moisturize. And there are different moisturizers. Okay. Um, we have the natural oils, mm -hmm. which are also really nice. Yes. We have, for oily skin, good good oils are like rose hip oil. Okay. Ziko kwa maduka. Rose hip oil. Hip, yakama hips. Yes, okay. rose hip oil. True quote. Uh -huh. There's jojoba oil. Uh, I know that one. You know it's that called one? jojoba, guys. Jojoba but jojoba. they call it jojoba. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there is um, black castor oil, mm -hmm. black seed oil. These oils are really nice. Mm -hmm. And you can use them to moisturize. You, If you have sensitive skin, um, you need to be a bit careful with the oils. But, um, for example, there's something called oil cleansing. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you have makeup today. Yes. What? How would you remove your makeup? So you c I can tell you how I do it. Yes. So, I will have... Um, wet wipe yes my wet wipe i will pour a lot of bobby oil or coconut oil or i have a whole bo ho oil yes 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 and i'll just pour on it and then i'll just ah and then nice. that that will be the first phase yes, of yes. removal yes. is that okay that's okay yes. that's okay um Great. but what i would do <laughs> <laughs> i knew something was coming uh -huh. what i would do i would actually massage the oil oh not w without the without the not wet applying wipe. it directly in the water wipe. Ah. i would massage the oil on my skin okay. on the makeup make mm -hmm. sure it's br it breaks everything down mm -hmm. and then i would remove with the wet wipe mm -hmm. and then i would cleanse with my cleanser uh, okay and for example someone who has no makeup uh -huh. this is something also you can be doing mm -hmm. take for example i don't want to say coconut oil okay don't say it most people react to coconut oil because it's it's comedogenic. That means it can block pores. <laughs> Today. Okay. Uh -huh. It can block pores. That I can, that I can understand. Coconut oil. Okay. So that you'll find some people will react to it. Okay. But for some people, it, it's, it's also good. Mm -hmm. So you can massage that, even though you don't have makeup. It's just okay. like, like a self-care. Mm. Yes. Okay. Jipenda kidogo. Jipenda. You just take the oil. After mm. cleansing your face, of you no. Know, this one, um, it's called, if you're doing the oil cleansing, it should be on dry face. Okay. So, yeah. You just take the oil, massage it on the skin. And this one, you can even take 30 minutes. Oh. It's like you're just giving your skin... Love. Love. Yes, some and TLC. It's but it's very therapeutic. Oh, really? Yes. It is like, better when somebody else is doing it. You know how you just go <laughs> uh, to the spa and like, okay. then when you're having the yes, facial done. Yes, But so you can do this on you yourself. You can do this on yourself. Massage. Take time to massage the oil. Mm -hmm. Circular motions mm -hmm. on your skin. Okay. And then when you're done, you can either take a piece of cloth with warm water, mm -hmm. squeeze it, and then wipe off the excess oil. Okay. So you'll remove the excess oil, but the oil, you will still have some oil. 
left on your skin. Yes. And and you know scientifically to look yeah. water repels oil. Yes. But oils attract oils. Uh -huh. So when you do that, if you have even though you have oily skin and there's a lot of skin on your surface, mm -hmm. the extra oils on the skin, mm -hmm. the dirt, the bacteria will be bi will bind to this oil when you're doing this when i'm cleaning yes oh, it's, cl it's called oil, oil cleansing it's called oil cleansing yeah so all the dirt will bind to this oil mm -hmm. so when you wipe it off you then remove I'm it together off. with the dirt and okay. at the same time the the skin is also left with oil mm. and enough moisture okay. you get it I think this is what I will do today. It's so, so that I change it from what I usually do. And you, I'm, I'm happy that we're having this conversation and we've had this conversation with you. Um, can people, do you do this directly or help people in their journey, your skincare? And how often should I take it? Nikitaka um, Kufanya. The skincare. Yes, the skincare routine. So the whole process, monthly, how many times do I do it? Is it an everyday thing? It's actually an everyday thing. <laughs> um, you don't have to go through the whole, whole process, process daily. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They, um, but at least cleansing, Cleanse moisturizing, and the most important step is sunscreen. Okay. Wearing sunscreen. That should be at least a daily, okay. daily thing. Yes. Social media handles. Zako Nigani. Shiko Mwangi. Mm -hmm. That is S-H-Y-K-O-H -H, Mwangi mm -hmm. across YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Zote Shiko Mwangi. Asante sana Shiko. Thank you so much through. for having and me. And for educating me alongside others. I hope I wasn't the only one feeling like, <laughs> oh God, I did not know that. Yeah. But I'm glad I learned it. We're going to take a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. Don't go too far. This is Full Circle with Mikani.